Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Chris Chen here. I'm a professional theme park designer. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to become a theme park designer or Disney Imagineer. So this was a class I gave to a student who was in middle school at the time. Um, so everything will be kind of just general, okay? What are kind of the majors you can go to in college? All right. One, architecture. Architecture is a pretty good one. What's another one? Engineer. Engineer is a good one. There's a lot of different types of engineers. There's like structural, civil, you know, I'm not an engineer myself, but uh, yeah, we'll just um, kind of keep it broad. We have theater, the the theater is also really popular. Um, there's art design. Uh, this could mean a lot of things, okay? So I studied industrial design. You can study uh, illustration. Uh, let's see, what else? A Couple of other things that I'm not too familiar with, graphic design. A lot of people major in graphic design. Um, let me see, there are writers. I'm not too familiar with that. So here are a couple of categories for you to take a look at. Uh, now, let's look at the skill sets. And I feel like there are like three main skill sets. Uh, there's, there's more than three, of course. Imagineering, right? That's like a engineering and imagination. So engineering. Drafting, okay. And that's like blueprints and stuff. There's the concept art. Oh, I totally remember what was the one I forgot. 3D modeling, engineering. All right, let's start with architects, right? So, architects uh, kind of are built like this. They're pretty good at 3D modeling. Uh, they're pretty good at drafting, you know, making blueprints and stuff. Engineering, they're not as good as an engineer, but uh, they can do some. Concept art, they're pretty good too. Going to architecture school is really hard. Um, you know, a lot of sleepless nights, but they're really strong in the theme entertainment industry. Really good major to have. Next, engineer. Engineer. Of course, their engineering is really strong. 3D modeling, they can like do pretty good 3D modeling, really precise if you're like, I mean, depends on what type of engineer, of course. Um, there's drafting. Uh, drafting, I think their drafting is pretty good too. Um, concept art, right? They're not much of an artist. Okay, so built a little bit differently than an architect, right? Makes sense. Then we have theater, fo theater folks. Uh, theater folks are kind of similar to architects where they're pretty well-rounded. They're, they can do drawing, they can do drafting, they can do 3D modeling, they're really good at show set design. Uh, engineering, they might not be as strong as architects, right? Whereas architects, they, they can build houses and stuff. And theater people, you know, they can build stuff in like a theater set uh, to, for a show, but they may not be as strong as an architect in that aspect, but they're really good at show set design. So kind of like architects, they're very well-rounded overall. Okay, next, art design. So generally with the art degree, you may be really good at concept art, your drafting may not be as good, 3D modeling. There are some good artists uh, who are pretty good at 3D modeling nowadays. <laughs> I'm not that great at 3D modeling. And of course, engineering really low. So you can see when you have an art design background, it's more skewed, okay? Kind of like uh, an engineer, uh, no, engineer, where you're kind of like, uh, skewed one way um let me see people who do graphic design i'm not too familiar um i you would of course have a separate category for graphic graphic design uh generally they specialize in graphics uh the people who work in the industry sometimes they can do some concept art and drafting as well maybe a little bit of 3d modeling but people who study graphic design generally are pretty specialized I'm not too familiar with writers. I would, I've met a couple of them. I would assume they would have their own category. They'd be good at like writing uh, creative elements and stuff. There are of course producers and um, I guess they would be studying, I guess that's like a, a branch of theater and they would just study like how to manage people, project management, stuff like that, okay? So that being said, uh, these are just generalizations, okay? I'm just doing my best. We have art design. You know, it's skewed mostly in one direction with the art. And then we have theater, pretty well-rounded, right? So engineers, 
um, you know, heavily skewed into engineering, right? Architects also pretty well rounded, like theater folks. Um, producers, you know, good at managing stuff. Uh, writers, you know, they're good at writing, graphic. Usually they're, you know, specialized in graphic design. Yeah. That being said, uh, let's talk about the pipeline. Okay, uh, what is a pipeline? Okay, when you go and make a video game or something or like a movie, there's like an order of operations of what you do. For example, if you're writing a, if you're creating a movie, right? There's like you write the script, you hire the actors, you make this, you do that. You know, um, it generally falls into pre-production, then production, and then post-production, where you do like the final visual effects and special effects, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, something like this is uh, pretty good. Um, now, what is the pipeline for theme parks? Okay, so think about this like a recipe. All right, how? What is the theme park recipe? We're gonna start pipeline. Over here we have blue sky, and that's you know where you have like the fun ideas. You're throwing stuff out there. Uh, next, you have concept development. You have um, schematic design detailed design, and then you have construction documents. Okay, so blue sky is where you get to draw like fun pictures and you know, pitch stories and ideas and everything. Pretty fun. Um, where you have like the idea of the entire theme park, right? Concept development might be when you're starting to design like each of the individual rides. What does this look like? What does that look like? You get, you know, it's a more detailed, but you're still doing concept development. Schematic design is when you're starting to kind of do the blueprints, right? You're saying like, this is what the wall looks like. This is what the building, the side view looks like. You're starting to do more schematics. Um, graphic designers start to get involved in stuff. Detailed design might be where you get more detailed, where you're like, okay, this is what the door handle looks like. You know, this is what the railing looks like. You're getting like really specific. All right, construction documents. This is like when you're getting ready to build, okay? Um, when you're doing stuff like um, the building, like where's the AC running, okay? Where's the water coming? Where, where's the fire escape hatch? You know, that kind of stuff. Oh, I believe there's one more. I think it's engineering documents, I think. Okay, um, so why is this important, all right? So let's take a look at how these people kind of fall on the pipeline. Someone who is an architect, right? They can kind of jump around into like all of these phases. They might, sometimes they may work here all the way to, to here, I guess, right? Um, architects, they're, they're pretty versatile in their skills, skill sets. Engineers, engineers might work, um, you know, mostly like around here. All right, you have engineers, theater, theater. I would say, yeah, you're around, um, it can be all around, I think maybe like here, because they can do, you know, concept art, you can do AutoCAD, you can do 3D modeling, so pretty versatile. Design, art design, usually you're like here, here, maybe a little bit of schematic design, um, if you know AutoCAD and stuff, yeah. So it, this part's pretty tough, so if you're only over here, you can only work on that part of the project. So a lot of people, artists, uh, who, who specialize in concept art, they also do stuff like video games, they might do toys, they might do movies, to diversify their income. Because um, they, if the project is over, they can't do any of this engineering stuff. You see that? Cool. Graphic designers. So I asked my graphic design friend about this. They can be anywhere from here all the way to, to here. So they're pretty broad as well. Sometimes they're here, but this part's the boring part because basically graphic designers in the blue sky phase might be kind of like doing the presentation and like kind of like a glorified PowerPoint designer. Um, but it sounds like this part is where the real money is. That's like where you're designing stuff like, um, what is the sign, the bathroom sign, this sign, the menu, this, this, this graphic, that graphic the construction documents and schematic design and stuff. Um, let me see. Writers and producers, I'm really not too sure. I'm guessing writers are in the front, but I'm not sure. Producers mm, are probably like 
probably everywhere. Um, but again, I don't have that much experience in it. But yeah, hopefully this helps uh, get you an idea of uh, you're, maybe you're thinking about thinking about majoring in college. So this gives you kind of an idea of each of the disciplines and how that plays an impact on it. Okay guys, um, yeah, if I said, I hope you guys liked the video, let me know what you think and what you are hoping to major in. You know, what, what sounds the most interesting to you. <laughs> if I said anything wrong in this video, please forgive me. Uh, the theme park industry is so huge. Like, I'm just seeing it from my perspective as a concept artist. It's like, you know, the elephant story, right? Everybody has a different perspective of the element. This is just what I've seen working at, you know, a couple of firms and stuff. And hopefully this is helpful to students and stuff. Okay, thanks, bye.